we are going to review the results obtained in use case three at the end of the AI at the edge project. This use case is designed to run monitoring of roads with drones operating in beyond visual line of sight mode with the aim of gathering images and data from the road and users to detect and locate automatically incidents involving these users. The operation is leveraged on AI at the edge assisted 5G network to provide fast response and enrich monitoring by reducing latency in communications for drone operation, accelerating computational processes, improving reliability and operational range, and providing access to a repository of AI functions. The story that we will see uh, of the use case three in this presentation, we will highlight key outcomes. We, uh, we will see a summary of architecture and development environments with components of AI at the edge platform. Uh, we'll see a video showcasing how the integrated environments work as planned within AI at the edge with dedicated sections to compliance of KPIs. And finally, uh, we will have some remarks on results and SME impact. As key outcomes, the UC3 has successfully achieved integration of systems to allow drones operating in 5G networks, uh, the development of AI functions to automate monitoring of roads, the deployment of a specific components of the AI at the edge platform, and uh, to provide access uh, to AI, AI uh, function repository at the edge. The testbed configuration is explained and depicted in Deliverable 503, with drone and operator connected through 5G network provided by partner Ericsson and its 520 laboratory. To connect clusters where AI functions developed by partner Atos and also AI at the edge components are deployed and provide enriched functionalities. For this challenge scenario, three development environments were designed, uh, designed drone, uh, 5G and AIF, where specific as well as collaborative works were performed to reach the required integration of systems. The AutoTools drone environment where the operation of uh, communication and control and video systems in 5G standalone mode were achieved together with the deployment of AIFs in connection with data generated by onboard sensors. The 5Tonic laboratory on top of that, on top of that providing 5G network leveraged on, on AI at the edge components as Mio and Light Edge. And finally, the uh, Atos AIF environment for the development of specific AI functions, just, such, as, sorry, such as the anomaly detection and 3D reconstruction of an area of interest. We are going to see the video now. Um, with the first show in the three um, environments integrate, integrated uh, and working together. Hmm? This is the first part of the video, the testbed architecture with the three uh, development environments. We will see now different parts uh, uh, of the drone uh, already uh, with the sensors and systems in the integrated on board with the cameras, the CPU uh, that uh, control and manage of the, the data, the dual camera with the stereoscopic camera uh, for, for the 3D reconstruction uh, function, the router from the 5G router, the FPV camera, which is uh, essential for, for piloting the drone. And also the ground system um, devices uh, for the uh, pilot to operate the drone. This is the five tonic laboratory located in uh, in Madrid or in Leganes near Madrid, uh, um, where uh, uh, an open uh, an outdoor uh, 5G network was provided. Uh, we run uh, quite a number of uh, uh, sessions with the drone uh, flying, uh, connected and controlled uh, through the 5G network, and also sending the images required uh, for the AI functions. Um, as you can see, uh, we will uh, we uh, access the repository through uh, um, an interface we develop. Uh, we uh, use uh, the different uh, tools to connect uh, several clusters. We deploy the Neo. Uh, we also deploy and use some uh, tools from the AI at the edge. And this is the interface where we can run the different functions. This is the drone uh, starting to fly and taking images uh, in the 5G tonic, uh, the 5 tonic laboratory, um, sending images for anomaly detection. And you can see uh, what the kind of objects we uh, selected was cars uh, on one side and persons. Um, 
and once um, the, the anomaly detection uh, detected an incident, and we can run the 3D reconstruction or modeling uh, function, functions where uh, um, performing a, a point of interest uh, um, flight uh, for the drone, we can take some pictures of the area. Uh, you can see here uh, with where the pictures are taken and the, uh, the model uh, environment uh, where we can detect and locate the incident. This is a final testing um, in, in real scenario. Uh, we uh, perform some flights uh, recording uh, regular uh, functioning for, of roads. So all the, all the systems were, and the environments were uh, working uh, in an integrated uh, way. Uh, for the KPIs, uh, this, the, the first one was the integration of all the systems. As you can see, uh, we developed the interface uh, to uh, run uh, all the functions, uh, the images for the different functions. Uh, we also control the communication and, and receive the telemetry of the drone. Uh, so uh, the, the first KPI was achieved successfully. The second KPI uh, was related to latency, trying to um, provide a, a stable um, environment for the images, uh, both for piloting the, the drone, like uh, with the FPV camera, and also for the uh, onboard uh, camera to, to provide the images for the functions. Uh, we performed some tests at the factory laboratory. Uh, we measured uh, both the FPV and also the, the stereoscopic camera uh, transferring, and we um, consistently measure uh, values below uh, the threshold we set for the KPI. So this uh, also was achieved. The third KPI was uh, for the reliability, and the, the goal was uh, to measure um, uh, how, uh, well the the amount of uh, possible possible amount of uh, of data uh, packages uh, loses, and uh, we consistently uh, measure uh, that uh, it was again below the the one percent packet loss uh, uh, set as threshold. The, the fourth uh, the scale of the fourth KPI was related to range. It was intended to uh, fly the drone in a beyond visual line of sight mode. Uh, for this, uh, we uh, control the drone uh, from our office located uh, 24 kilometers away from uh, the five Tony laboratory laboratory and here you can see our pilot controlling uh, the drone uh, connected through a VPN to the 5g network in the five Tony laboratory where the drone was receiving data and sending also data so this um, KPI was also achieved uh, flying uh, well beyond the 20 kilometers uh, threshold that was set at the beginning of the project. And uh, uh, the last uh, KPI was related to the precision of the um, anomaly detection functions. And it was related on uh, how well uh, it will uh, detect the selected objects. And we run uh, several training of uh, models. Um, uh, with different algorithms that uh, were also uh, improved uh, uh, through throughout the, the project. Uh, we started with one algorithm and we uh, finished using a, a more precise one. So this uh, allowed to reach um, values uh, higher than the, the threshold set for the KPI. KPI. So uh, as you can see uh, the screen, the, this KPI was also achieved. And this is all from the use case three. Thank you. And uh, for this uh, final part of the presentation, the remarks on uh, uh, results, the final remarks to be highlighted as a result of the use case three development. We have rich consolidated operation of drone systems in 5G network in both uh, the control and common, uh, the command and control and FPV video signals for the uh, fly uh, of the drone and also uh, the transfer of video from payload uh, systems uh, on board. We have developed uh, working flows and interface for system management and decision making. Uh, we have also provided access to AIS repository. 
These results are supported by AI at the edge technical enablers, uh, relevant technologies uh, such as AI functions, edge computing, like the uh, MEC uh, system and access to the repository, and also advan advanced drones enabling uh, beyond this online offsite uh, operation. And the project is allowing other tools uh, to be involved in new research and development projects, uh, such as uh, 6G Sorus with uh, um, Universidad Carlos III de Madrid as partner, and also to extend collaborations uh, to improve the operation of drones in 5G network. And this is all from AeroTools. Thank you very much for your attention, and uh, I will be glad to answer any questions.